So you either have results or you have excuses, said every D ever. Hey, I'm Jennifer Maxwell here, and I wanted to talk today about the importance of your language and your approach to dealing with stress, which is what we're all dealing with right now. We're handling our stress level in different ways and different capacities. And one of the things I'm really noticing is that there are a lot of uh, leaders that tend to be in the D quadrant, which would be represented in the DISC uh, realm as outgoing and task focused. Um, and a lot of Ds lead from a, from a perspective that you either get things done, and if you're not getting them done, you're making excuses. So let me just clarify how that might land for some of the people that are working on your team with you. Uh, to someone who doesn't think the way you think or think in that approach or that way, that is very threatening. If you weren't aware, let me share that with you. I know. It, when you're telling someone the, their decisions about whatever they're doing, the, the decisions they're making occur like excuses, it doesn't um, give them permission to make uh, the right choice at the right, uh, the right time. So someone that may be in an S quadrant, for example, which is more reserved and service focused, makes choices based on serving people in the moment, what is right for them. So the results that you're looking for in a different capacity may not show up because an S-natured person would be serving someone. So they may not be uh, accomplishing a task, but they're serving a person, which may actually be more important in the moment than accomplishing a task that was set out for them. So I want you to consider in these times of pressure and stress, it's really critical to continue to serve not only the client, but serve the team member that's working hard for you that may be the go-between uh, for, for your company and the client face. So um, I want you to just, I want to leave that with you because I hear that a lot. I hear it from the stage, from a lot of these leaders in the stage. If you're not getting results, you're making excuses. But I want you to consider that what you think is an excuse may actually be a different decision that someone made to serve uh, an immediate um, requirement. And so it, they didn't end up meeting a result that you were looking for, but the importance of, you know, when, which really stands for what's important now, was served as a result, but it didn't, doesn't show up like, like anything uh, got accomplished, right? Because it's, it's a soft skill. It's a, it's a feeling, it's a making someone uh, feel comfortable. It makes, it's being there for your client. So I wanted to leave that with you today. Consider if you say that a lot, you have to get excuses or results. Um, I want you to shift your thinking a little bit and, and perhaps put yourself in the position of your um, customer service rep or your people on your team or your uh, clients. If you're in the coaching uh, arena, and you're not getting the results you think you want to get um, that you may need to unpack a little bit and find out what's really going on there. So that's the quick tip for the day. It isn't always as it occurs. So people uh, experience stress in different ways and they handle the approach to uh, getting things done in a different way. So that's the takeaway. I'd love your comments. Um, if, if you haven't had a chance yet, subscribe below and give me your feedback. Let me know if that, if that rings true for you. If you say that a lot or if you hear that a lot, um, I'd love to hear your feedback and see how you're handling things during the stressful situation. And until the next time, have a good one and be well.